It's ironic, isn't it? A horrible incident like this can actually turn into a blessing for Eden. Kirk. Operation successful to get into the lease on life. He's a lucky man. Have you told Eden about this? No, I haven't done that. I wouldn't do that until uh, everything is signed and sealed. I don't want to get her hopes up in case there's any impediments. I don't think there will be if it's only a matter of permission. Yeah, well, then there is the operation itself. I mean, we have to hope that uh, Kirk's system doesn't reject the implant. All kinds of risks. Yeah, there's another irony in all this, too. What is that? Kirk always wanted to be a Capwell, and now he's going to have a Capwell heart. Kirk doesn't need a Capwell heart to be any more of a Capwell than he already is. I know you don't feel like that, but I do. I know. Well, you better go on and conduct your murder investigation. Right. Cruz. Yeah. I mentioned something to you. Uh, I hope you will conduct your investigation as you normally would. I mean, I haven't really drawn any opinions about whether Pearl is guilty or not, but he is your friend. I'm paid to conduct an investigation no matter where it leads. I know what you're paid for, my boy, but uh, you've been known to be partial. Uh, we all do that. We're human, you know. I'm not going to cover for anybody, friend or foe, okay? Mr. Capwell, uh, I have the papers ready for David to sign. Everything else is arranged. Okay, uh, what happens once they're all signed? What goes on well, then? When they're signed, they'll be sent to the hospital, and uh, Madeline's heart will be removed, flown to Palo Alto Hospital, where they're ready for immediate transplant. They're ready to receive it now. That's good. It's really good. Well, why don't you go inside? I'll be right in. Thank you. Come, no, walk your teeth over. Mr. Laurent, I, uh, I have your papers. Back already? As you know, uh, this has to be taken care of as soon as possible. They need to operate as soon as they get a chance. This, um, feels like I'm seeing my wife murdered for a second time. Maybe you could look at it as allowing her to die a natural death and saving someone else's life in the process? Oh, we had such plans. She, uh, she loved to travel, you know. We, we'd sit and talk for hours about all the trips we were going to take. We, we were going to buy an island somewhere. Someday, maybe even a, a, ch a chateau in the south of France. It's a mistake to wait for the things you want. It may never happen. I guess you're right. I'm sorry, I've forgotten your name. It's Julia, Julia Wainwright. Is that uh, Miss or Mrs? I'm not married. Do you mind if I call you Julia? Sure, go ahead. And Julia, I, I, I want you to know you're going to be paid for everything that you've done. I'm really no, no, appreciative. no. That's okay, don't worry about that. Oh, come on. You're, you're an attorney, and we've taken up a lot of your time. I mean, it's, it's not many people can afford to work for nothing. I'm doing this on a volunteer basis, so don't even think about paying me. But you're doing it for a total stranger. It's okay. <laughs> I knew Madeline slightly. As a matter of fact, I overheard her talking about you one day. Really? What'd she say? <laughs> she said that she missed you. She thought you were a remarkable man. Business uh, took me away from her far too often. Well, there's no sense in postponing this. I feel like uh, I'm ending her life, taking it away. I'm very sorry. I am the second murderer. 